last time we left off here and now what we need to do is we need to create our Tetris objects using this little cube. Before we start creating our objects, I'm going to select this sprite of the block or the cube and set the pixels per unit at 32. This is going to make it, well, the size of it is going to be a little bit larger. So now what we need to do is we need to create empty game objects which are going to represent the shapes of our Tetris objects and I'm going to name them by the shape that they represent. So this is going to be our Tetris object O and in a second you'll see why I named it O. I'm simply going to copy one of the blocks and put it as a child of our Tetris object. I'm also going to copy and paste it three times, three more times because we need four of them and I'm going to reset their positions at 0, 0 for the X and for the Y. Now the first block needs to be at coordinates 0, 0. The second one needs to be here and the coordinates needs to be 0 for the X and 1 for the Y. Now you might wonder why. Well, because in our game, we are going to move these objects by one unit. We are going to talk a little bit about that when we start scripting our game. But because we are going to move it by one unit, we need these coordinates to be rounded. So they need to be one and they cannot be, for example, 1.2, I don't know, 1.123, so on and so forth. They need to be rounded. So we are going to position them like this. So the first block is at 0, 0 for the X and for the Y. The second one is at 0 for the X, 1 for the Y. The third one is going to be at 1 for the X, 1 for the Y. And the fourth one is going to be simply 1 for the X and 0 for the Y. So this is the game object that we have now. And if I place it here in my camera, so this is what we have here. And I've also resized the camera. So the size is 8.5 and you can set the border at negative 5.09 and the other is at 5.01 so that you can have these borders. Anyway, we can also change that a little bit later, which is not important at the moment. So this is our game object. Again, if I go here in my scene, we see our cube here or practically representing the shape O. That's why I named it Tetris object O. And I've created a prefabs folder, simply drag and drop it here in the prefabs folder and we can delete it from the scene. Now we are going to create a new shape or a new game object. This is going to be our Tetris object, so Tetris object I. And here we are also going to copy and paste one of the blocks, place them as the child and copy them multiple times. Simply select the block and copy and paste it, well, three times. So one, two and three. Again, we need to reset their positions at zero, zero. And this is the whole game object. So the first block again is going to be at, well, zero, zero for the X and for the Y. The second one is going to be one at the Y. The third one is going to be two at the Y. And the fourth one is going to be three at the Y. So as we see, this resembles I shape. That's why I named the Tetris object I. And I'm simply going to drag and drop it right here. Now for our L shape, so I'm simply going to rename this one to Tetris object L. And I'm going to copy and paste another, well, block here. And this one is simply going to go here on the X for one or one on the X and zero for the Y. This is going to be our L shape because as we see here, it resembles this L shape. So simply drag and drop it here and this is our L shape. For our J shape, I'm simply going to rename it from L to J. Simply set our, well, game object here. We are going to position it, excuse me, at negative one for our, well, X axis. So again, a rounded number, so negative one. This is going to be our Tetris object J and drag and drop it here. So this is going to be, as I said, our J game object or Tetris game object. Next, create a new one. So this is going to be our Tetris object Z. So this one's going to be Z and I'm going to copy one of the blocks and put it here. We need four of them, copy and paste it three times. And let me just well, set their side or positions at zero, zero. 
So the first one is going to be here. The second one is going to be here. So negative one on the, well, Z axis, excuse me, on the X axis, or we can place it at one. And for this one, this one is going to be here. So negative one on the X, and this one is going to be at one, one for the X and for the Y. This is the Z axis, or excuse me, this one is going to be the S. And well, as I said, this is Tetris game object S. So because we see that it resembles the S sign. So if we go here, this is the S letter. And now I can drag and drop it here. And for the Z one, so I'm simply going to set here Z. For the Z one, I'm simply going to set this block here. So at one for the X and this block here at negative one. And this is now Z. And simply drag and drop it here. And this is our Z the same way we are going to create our Tetris game object T. So simply put this one down. So X negative one, Y is zero. This is our game object T. So I'm going to simply save it like that. And we are done with our game objects. So here we have, let me drag all of them. So here we have our J, here we have our L, our O, our S, our T is already here and here we have our Z. So these are all of our game objects that we have. So L, J, or excuse me, J, L, I, O, this one is S, Z, and T. So these are the game objects that we have that we are going to use in our game. So practically we are done setting this up and next we are going to begin programming our game. So we can remove these from the scene, of course, save them as prefabs. And remember, it's really important that these coordinates be rounded. So here we have our, well, one for the Y, one for the X, zero for the Y, negative one for the X, so on and so forth. They need to be rounded. So one, zero and one. They cannot be 1.2, 1.23, so on and so forth, as I ex explained already. Save these as prefabs, we can delete them from the scene and we can start programming our game in the next video.